Uh, we want uh, since many years to, to live in a world without any uh, nuclear weapons. And to go to such a dream, it's not for tomorrow, but it's maybe important to uh, have a first step. And the first step is to ban the nuclear test. And today it's very important because we have so many discussions about the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons with Iran, but also with North Korea, that it's time to try to make some progress. Because CTPT represents multilateralism, represents the joint efforts or working together by all the stakeholders, all stakeholders of member states. And today we have noticed that unilateralism and, uh, is developing. Therefore, I am very grateful to the Belgian government and CTPT, you know, PTS for organizing this this activity. I hope you will have time to explain to you why. I think at the uh, Egmont Institute today, together with uh, Foreign Minister Reinders and uh, representative of the EU, uh, the message was basically the importance of multilateral diplomacy in this uh, current geopolitical context where we see tension, pressure on the JCPOA, and then the future of the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. And at a time where uh, the DPRK, North Korea, is uh, talking about uh, dismantling its nuclear weapon test site and the relevance of the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty and its verification system in that context. Uh, I see no other way uh, we can get an agreement to close irreversibly the nuclear weapon test site of the DPRK without involving the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. And this is what we wanted to talk about today, to press upon the international community to remain in that framework where they see the relevance of the treaty in this particular context. It is important for the future of the treaty, it is important for international peace and stability, and it is important for our march towards achieving a nuclear weapon free world too. Of course it's a pity to have a treaty since 20 years and to see that it's impossible to have the treaty into to force after so many years. But we have a provisional application of the treaty. And that is the most important thing, because if you look to the last 20 years, it was just, if I may say, North Korea was using the capacity to organize nuclear tests. For the rest of the world, it was possible to have a real monitoring of the situation through the CTBTO. We have an organization able to uh, organize a real control of the nuclear test on the herds. And since 20 years, it's a success, because we don't have any other countries than the PRK using such a facility. But we need to go further and we need to have a legal uh, ban and we need to have a more comprehensive approach with also North Korea on board. But fortunately, we have made some progress thanks to such a provisional application and thanks to such a beautiful organization.